Okay, so we're going to install this Axia Lab microscope. We have it unpacked now. It's all laid out on the bench how it should look when you unpack it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is install the head onto the microscope stand. For everything we're going to do, you just need the one tool. It's a three millimeter Allen wrench. So you're going to take this, back this set screw out, remove the dust plug. Just make sure it's backed all the way out so the dovetail's free. Then you can take your microscope head, pull the dust cover off the bottom, and just set it right on there. And tighten it down with this right here. Nice and firm, but not over tight. And you just want to make sure that it's on straight. Next, you're going to take your two eye pieces and put them into the head. So just pull out these two dust plugs and they just slide right in. Should go till it stops. Next, you'll take your objectives and screw them into the nose piece. I've already got two on here. The objectives come in these capsules here. So open up the capsule, screw the objective out of the cap. On the nose piece here, you've got a dust plug. Just pull that straight out and thread the objective right into the hole. Just threads in till it's tight, but not over tight. So you're going to do that for all three of your objectives. You should mount them 10x, 40x, then leave a space, and then your 100x oil objective will go last. The last part's the, the trickier part is mounting the condenser onto the microscope. To do this, you're going to look for these knobs back here, not the microscope focus knobs, but the condenser focus knobs, and you're going to just drop down the condenser holder and you're going to make sure these two screws here are backed all the way out. And you're going to take the condenser and slide it into this dovetail. Important to note, it's got an alignment pin right here. This alignment pin falls right into this groove here, and it just pushes back against this spring. So we're going to take the condenser. should fit in nice. You've got some motion there pushing back against the spring, and just leave it sit there. And then you're going to take these two screws and just hand tighten them until you feel it catch. Okay. Once you feel it catch, give them each maybe uh, two or three turns and you'll be ready to align the condenser once we turn the microscope on. Final thing you want to do is just take the condenser and rack it all the way up. Let it touch the slide gently and then maybe back it down about you know just a few millimeters then you're ready to use the microscope the on off switch is on this side right here the light intensity is on the right side and your focus controls are on both sides both coarse and fine focus the one thing you need to use or keep in mind for use of the microscope that you're going to be using on a daily basis is the condenser turret right here you have five positions here BF is for bright field, that's just traditional microscopy. And then when you're using phase contrast, phase contrast is the technique you're going to use to contrast unstained specimens. You have three settings, one, phase two, and phase three. These correspond to the different objectives. So when you're using 10x, you use phase one. When you're using 40x, you go to phase two. When you're using 100x, you go to phase three. If you use that combination of the objective and the phase ring, then you'll be working in phase contrast. The final setting on the condenser is DF, is for dark field. This is an oblique microscope technique that also helps to contrast uh, unstained specimens. To use it, all you do is engage DF. And just as of note, dark field only works at the dry objectives, 10 and 40. does not work at the 100x. So those are your settings. Bright field three-phase settings, and dark field.